name is Thomas and I'm a percussionist with the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra. I'm here to talk to you about rhythm. Step into my studio. All right, welcome to my lockdown rhythm studio where we're going to look at some rhythms today. So what I've done, so I've got a bucket. Now if you want to pause the video and go grab yourself a bucket, we'll get started. All right, excellent. Now, what I've also found is that if you take a book and put underneath your bucket, you'll get a bit more sound out of it. I've got uh, Bill Bryson's At Home. thought that was quite appropriate. And I'll pop that right underneath the bucket here so we get a bit more sound. You'll also need two spoons. You go grab those. All right. So we are going to start with what we call a 4-4 four, four bar, where we have four crutchets or four quarter notes, and they will sound like this. And then we're going to add other notes to that. So if you pause the video and go grab yourself another thing to play on. So, We've got our quarter notes, our crutches. E, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we're going to add what we call eighth notes or quavers in our right hand. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. In the New Zealand Symphony, sometimes somebody will be playing crutchets in the orchestra and someone else will be playing quavers in the orchestra. But what happens if we divide those quarter notes or crutchets in three? So go grab another thing and we'll continue with our lockdown drum kit. So we're going to divide our crutchets in three called triplets. So you see now we've got our quarter notes, our eighth notes, and our triplets. Let me show you. So, we're going to go all the way up to what we call semiquavers, or I usually call them 16s, because in a bar of four quarter notes, you can fit four on each note, and four times four, as we know, is 16, so 16s. So, go grab another sound and come back. All right, so now we have our middle sound which is going to be our semiquavers or our sixteens. And just like with our first bucket, I found that putting a little book underneath gives a little extra sound. And for that, I thought Aldous Huxley Brave New World would be quite appropriate. So here we go. Pop that under there. We've got our crutchets. So, so we've got our crutchets, our quavers, our triplets, and our semiquavers. Let me show you. One, two, three, four. So, sometimes in the answer to so, we have people playing different rhythms. So some people may be playing quavers or eighth notes, and at the same time, other people may be playing triplets. And that's what we call a polyrhythm, because you've got two different rhythms playing against each other. And that sounds like this. I'll start with the eighth notes, and then I'll play the triplets on here. That sounds like this. So 
So what you can now do is with the little lockdown drum kit we've built, I want you to take pictures and take videos of you playing them and post them on your social media, hashtag NZSO and hashtag NZSO Rhythm. Remember, just go through one more time. Got our crutches. And we're done, maybe. We've got our quivers. Triplets. Like so. What we can also do is mix it all up. So you go. your lockdown drum kit.